hi so i'm in bellamy i'm about to have my makeup done one side by a makeup artist called amy and then the other side by my sister because she's doing some work experience here so we'll see how it comes out um yeah but it's interesting for you to come here so she's learning um and i'm being her model today so that'll be fun i'm excited to see what it looks like <laughs> yeah. Probably make it worse. I'm used to being in control yeah. when I see it. So I'm used to being in control. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then, like, to get, yeah. So if you get to this stage here, then I'll come and then I'll go a bit more into the eyes. Oh, yeah. I've never really done makeup on anyone else, no. really, ever. Thank you. <laughs> First try, is Well then. <laughs> well then. <laughs> Hi guys, hope you're all well. So today it is beauty, the start of beauty week here in Kingsland. And I'm here at Debenhams today and I'm gonna go through a makeup look that the makeup artist is gonna be doing. I'm gonna sort of be talking through it. So yeah, hopefully people come and watch. Um, I'm in boots on Saturday, so I'll film a bit then as well. The foundation I'm wearing it today is such a good foundation because it's kind of like a worry-free foundation. You haven't got to think, oh, I've got to touch it up throughout the day. It lasts all day. I had it on yesterday, sitting in the sunshine, and I didn't go oily or anything, so that was really good. A brush. Um, here, but I use a makeup brush and then I sometimes use like a beauty blender on top of it just to press it into the skin a little bit more. Inside each palette you get a step-by-step -step guide so you can create a day-to-night look um, in case you're a bit confused with where you should put the colours. I mean with makeup there's no rules, you can do what you feel happy with because you, it's your personal expression of yourself. Um, it's being creative so do what you wish but it's sometimes nice to have these little you know, guides just to, if you're a little bit confused or a little bit stuck because, you know, sometimes we do need a little bit of help. So early went really well. Um, it was really cool to do that. I was a little bit nervous, but, um, you know, it's always good to get out of your comfort zone and just do it because sometimes in life, like, things may seem scarier than they actually are. And when you've done it, you'll be glad. So yeah, I was really glad that I did it. And hopefully um, everyone was happy. Um, but yeah, so tomorrow I'm going to go get my eyebrows, um, not microbladed, it's like ombre brow, which I've vlogged before. I'm just having a top up because I'm doing my brows every day now, as you can tell, um, because once I put my makeup on, they don't look dark enough. Um, so yeah, but unfortunately I didn't get them waxed because, um, last week I weren't feeling very well and I was supposed to have them waxed before because I'm really like a dual wax, they're really fluffy and quite light at the minute because like my actual hair is quite light so that's annoying but I'll have to wait for a couple of weeks now maybe three weeks to have them um wax and tinted so they're going to be really fluffy hi mum hi mum hi <laughs> um but yeah so I'll do that tomorrow take you along and um yeah but oh Gatsby look how big Gatsby's getting 
<laughs> Hello. It's getting so big. Buenos dias. So uh, today I'm going to go get my eyebrows um, ombre again. So I thought I'd quickly show you before I put my pomade on top what they have gone like. So they're not bad and they look alright when I haven't got makeup on. As you can see, like you can still really see them. I'll just come a bit closer. Probably won't be flattering, but just so you can see. Um, but when I've got makeup on now, like I said yesterday, you can't really notice them as much. So yeah, I just thought I'd have a top up just before the summer, which would be good for like when I go on holiday and stuff. So yeah, I thought I'd show I can't speak because it's bloody smiley. Um, I thought I would show you them now before I put my out pomade on because what I'm doing is putting this on so the lady knows what colour I like and she knows what shape I want. So if we want to make them a little bit thicker today, we can. So I'm going to try and do my brows really well this morning. Um, but yeah, I've shown you them now, so you'll see them in a bit. I won't vlog too much of the treatment because um, I did a whole vlog about it. But I'll just show you a little bit so you can see them afterwards. But I'm not looking forward to the healing process. They look alright. They look really dark afterwards, which looks a bit crazy. Um, but then next week they'll be all, maybe next week or the week after they'll be really scabby, which is annoying. Um, but that is worth it. <laughs> so this is what they look like filled in. So I'm all done, looking really dark, and they will do, like, guys, if you have this done and you think, oh my god, my brows are so dark, don't worry about it, because they will look this up, they'll fade, as you could see from before, I'm trying to, um, but the only thing is I really did need my brows tinted, because you can see my, like, blonde brows there a little bit, but that'll be fine once I, um, they heal, I will tint them, but yeah. I'm not looking forward to the healing process, but once it's done, it really is worth it, guys. So a couple of weeks from this first week will be okay. It'll just be really dark like this. I need to put some tan on my face. And then um, in a couple of weeks, they'll all, all the flakiness will be off. But as you probably saw in my vlog before, they um, they are flaky for a while, but um, it's worth it in the end. So yeah, once I heal, they look good. Airy and how dry I am. So this kind of like exfoliates the skin as well as taking the hairs off. Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. It's just taking off a few layers of dead skin that's okay. just sitting on the surface. Yeah. So you get much better exfoliation than you would if you had a microdermabrasion. <laughs> Dry. <laughs> Get rid of all the dead skin. Cool that. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Looks like I haven't washed my face in about a year. So the dermaplaning is all done. I'm really pleased with it. I'm actually going to look in my mirror as I talk to you. More hair free which is what it's great for. It's good to get rid of all that peach fuzz and yeah, all the, um, and loads of dead skin came off my face as well because my skin has been so dry lately. It's really good. I think my skin looks really quite glowy. Ignore the dark circles. It looks better in real life to be honest. This camera does wash me out a bit. I'm a bit more tanned in real life. Um, but yeah, my skin feels super soft. It's gonna be so nice to put makeup on. You're not supposed to put makeup on for 24 hours. But you can, but for better results, you're supposed to leave it. The skin has been so dry at the top of my forehead the past couple of months, and she's got rid of the dead skin up there. But you can kind of see where it has been dry, so I need to keep on top of that now. I feel like this is giving me a little push and a little boost to keep my skin feeling really nice. But it's nice to get rid of all that hair as well. Um, I do um, use a little um, blade razor thing on my face myself, but it's nice to have it done properly and to like really, really get rid of all that dead skin. My face feels so good. So yeah, um, if you have any questions, ask them below, leave some comments in the um, in, in the bit below. Um, I'll answer them for you. So yeah, I was at Bellamy um, 
salon just now in Kings Lynn. Um, I went there last week to have my makeup done, even done one side, and um, Amy, the lady who owns the house of Bellamy, did one side, because Eden was practicing, and that was really cool, because Eden did so well, as you saw. Um, but yeah, check it out if you haven't, because it's really cool there. Today I'm going to Boots to do Beauty Week with Discover Kings Lynn. Um, and it should be good. I'm a little bit nervous um, because it's a Saturday, so it's going to be busier today than it was in Debenham the other day. But it shows I care, I guess. I'm just a little bit, oh, but I'll be fine once I'm there. Um, so yeah, it'll be nice to see some people in the, if there's some people there, hopefully. Um, but yeah, hopefully people do come. But yeah, like I say, I think it will be busier because it's Saturday. Um, but yeah, I'm just a bit like, oh, I'm a bit nervous. I'm wearing Huda Beauty on my eyes because you can't go wrong with that. I'm wearing a few number seven products because that's what we're going to be talking about today. I'm wearing the um, Lift and Luminate foundation, which looks quite nice, I think so. But yeah, and I'm also wearing the lipstick in, let me have a look. I'm wearing a few of their products, more than this, but just the main ones. I'm wearing um, their lipstick in Honey Blossom and their lip gloss. <laughs> Get it. The lip gloss, this one here, in um, what's it? Sparkling rose. Now it looks more like colourful than it actually is on the lips. I like it on the lips. What's really good about this lip gloss? It's not sticky at all, so that's cool. But yeah, let's. I'm gonna take you along, record a few little bits, and um, wish me luck. Let's go. <laughs> Hi everyone, so thank you for coming today, um, as you know my name is Jordan, <laughs> um, I uh, do a lot of online work, so I do YouTube and Instagram and all that jazz that everyone seems to love these days, but um, yeah I've been doing it for a few years now and it's just kind of just part of my life, so it's just really for me to just say it's a job, so that's really cool. Um, so today I'm going to be talking through what makeup I'm wearing and kind of doing what I would do with my channel but in person, so do you know what, it feels quite strange because usually when I'm filming there's literally no one there and I don't realise someone's actually going to watch it, it's so strange. Mm -hmm. Also I'm using a concealer, so this is actually a contour stick, it's a concealer and I'm using the shade Toffee and it was perfect, like literally perfect for me, so I love that bit, it's really creamy. Um, when you see a stick like this you may think, oh is it going to be a bit like mm, on my face like, but it seamlessly went onto my skin. And I'd use my beauty blender again. Use the same one. I don't keep like washing it or anything. Um, just make sure it's still damp, and just press it into the skin. And you've created your own shadow with a cream product. Now, some people may just leave it at a cream product, but I then went over it with um, some bronzer. So press it right under the eye because I don't want my concealer going anywhere to show off my dark circles. I'm, like, I'm tired, so <laughs> uh, at the moment I'm not. I normally do my brows, but I've just had my brows tattooed so I can't touch them at the moment so they probably look really crazy but normally I'd go in with like a pomade an Anastasia Beverly Hills pomade in like a in the shade taupe and I then put a brow gel through because I like to look like I've got a fluffy brow so I like to fluff it up, fluff it up a little bit. For me to hold some, my hands I can't hold things that great so mm. if there's something that I can use then I'm always like well anyone can use it then because I can use it you guys can too. Mm. But it's something you've got towards your skin you don't need foundation. <laughs> You don't need foundation. <laughs> but of course you're scared. <laughs> yeah, but you're not listen, she's not going to listen to you, is she? <laughs> yeah. Well, I never use like a powder all over my face. Like a lot of people use powder. But um, I always just put on so much highlight. <laughs> um, and like I said, like uh, mixing those primers together. Um, flat Literally, that NARS primer that puts on that kind of thing um, is so shiny. It look, I look a little bit like Tin Man before I put my foundation on, so that's probably what helps. And this highlighter is awesome, like literally. But back to life, back to reality. <laughs> Got my neck warmer on. Oh, I feel exhausted from doing that, guys. Like honestly, this is really flattering, but I don't care. My shadow looks nice though. Um, it's so exhausting for my body just um i think i get anxious and i start sweating 
and then I'm just drained. So now I feel like I've just done a massive workout. But I was so grateful for the people who came today. Like it's so lovely to see some lovely faces out in the little crowd. <laughs> in the crowd, you know what I mean. But it was so lovely to see people there and support me and actually value my opinion. So that really meant the world. But um, yeah, I'm gonna go now. I feel knackered and a bit ugh. So I'm gonna chill and this will be the end of my vlog. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've had a great week and that you enjoyed this vlog. Um, and I'll speak to you soon. Leave some comments um, below and also let me know what kind of videos you'd like to see because I need some content advice. <laughs> but yeah, speak to you soon. Thank you so much for watching and I've left you looking very attractive. <laughs> Bye.